welcome to a new video series here at Lair Village. Uh, we will be starting up a cooking series called Cooking with Felicity where we try out new historic recipes, some of them adapted for a modern audience. We're excited to start this new series, so if you're not already subscribed to our YouTube channel, make sure you click the like and subscribe button already and turn on notifications so that way you will be notified every time we post a new video. Today, we're in honor of Valentine's Day, we're making chocolate truffles, which will be from the <laughs> recipe book from Fanny Pearson Cranes, her receipts 1796. Fanny uh, Pearson Crane was a New Jersey born native who had a passion for cooking and hosting. The Crane Estate was located in Montclair, New Jersey, and you can actually still purchase this cookbook on their website. Uh, there will be a link in the description down below. This recipe is actually a bit earlier than us. We uh, represent the 1830s here within Allaire Village, and uh, but it still would have been something that people would have continued to make as recipes are passed down over time. And this receipt or recipe as we call them now uh, is adapted for a modern kitchen so you don't have to have a hearth at home. So without further ado, let's get cooking! For this recipe, you need six squares or six ounces of semi-sweet chocolate, one fourth cup shifted confectioner sugar, also known as uh, powdered sugar, three tablespoons of butter, three slightly beaten egg yolks, one tablespoon of brandy. If you do not have brandy at home, you can replace it with whiskey, bourbon, or any other kind of sweet liqueur that you think would taste good, but do know that it will taste different from the recipe listed. Grated chocolate and one half tablespoon of cinnamon. For this recipe, you'll need a double boiler. You can either purchase one or create your own by putting a big pot on the stove filled with water and then put a smaller pot inside of that pot. So in your double boiler, you want the water on the bottom to be hot but not boiling. You're going to add your six ounces of chocolate. Along with three tablespoons of butter. One fourth cup of shifted confectioner sugar. So you're gonna keep this on heat and stir it until it's completely melted. You can already see it starting to melt on the bottom. So this uh, book is actually really interesting because some of the recipes have fun little uh, information. So this chocolate truffle recipe is when Thomas Jefferson moved into the White House in 1801, he brought with him a fondness for French cookery and customs acquired when he was American minister to France. His influence was felt throughout the United States and nonetheless in the Crane household where the French chocolate truffles found their place in the coalition table. Okay, when the mixture is melted, make sure you turn it off the heat. Take a small portion and mix it into three egg yolks. This is called tempering the egg so that when you put it into the larger mixture, it does not turn into scrambled eggs. Then you can return this to the hot mixture. And then you are going to stir that together really well. Again, you want to be fast so you do not make scrambled eggs. I cannot stress how many times I have done this and accidentally just had a bunch of egg in my mixture. <laughs> and look how creamy and delicious that looks. Once it is fully well mixed, you are going to blend in your brandy. After mixing everything in, you're just gonna let it chill for one to two hours so you can roll it into balls. Mix one, tea one half teaspoon of cinnamon into the chocolate ground up mixture. So this is our chocolate mixture. So we're gonna take this and put this into one inch balls. So we just gotta grab some, it feels like a brownie mixture, like, un like brownie dough that has not been cooked all the way. Roll this into the chocolate and cinnamon and put it on a plate. So here we have our rolled chocolate truffles. Now, after you're done rolling it up, you just wanna make sure you put this in the refrigerator so they get nice and firm. Firmed up, you're gonna to wanna to store it in the refrigerator so it does not become this 
kind of brownie dough consistency. So these have been cooling for about an hour. And if you look inside, it actually has this really nice, like fudgy looking texture. It's very smooth the consistency. I'm excited to try it. Our lovely camera woman Leah Hi. is going to help us taste test the chocolate truffles. Okay. Just gonna grab the half. Hmm. Kind of interesting. Yeah. They kind of have not so much a truffle kind of texture, but mm -hmm. a very soft kind of fudgy. Yeah. Brownie dough that's not cooked all the way kind of flavor to it. I think if you wanted a harder consistency, you should put it put it in the freezer. You could have put it in the freezer too. Possibly, yeah. But they're really good. Mm -hmm. And it's the chocolate isn't too overpowering, which is really good because I'm not a huge yeah. chocolate fan myself. And you do get a slightly kind of like oozy flavor at the end. Mm-hmm. Oh um, yeah, it's good, right. This also you can wow. experiment with the toppings. So we have chocolate uh chunks with cinnamon but you can also add like literally nuts sprinkles any anything you can think yeah, of that would go definitely to coconut um shavings oh like, yeah that yeah. would be good if you enjoyed today's video remember to give it a big like and subscribe again to our channel and make sure you check out the historic village at Alaire. the link to our website will be in the description and until then let us know if you did try this recipe in the comments and how it went for you enjoy